Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 49 Round of 32 match between Vade and his Undead and Geznar and his Underworld. Um, both of these teams absolutely diced the pants off their opposition in the first round. However, Geznar's Underworld are much more like likely to with a Claw Mighty, well a Block Claw Mighty Troll, Block Core Lino and an absolutely fantastic All Normals Killer here with a all the things you would want from an all normals killer on Underworld. So yeah, really nice. The Undead have a Tackle Pommer. Mighty Tackle. So you know, they, they've got some Tackle for the uh, Goblins and stuff. So that's interesting. And obviously the Block Mummy, Rookie Mummy. Pretty nice. Inducements wise, we have two babes for the Undead. Um, and 13 players versus 13. So it could go either way. Could go... Either way, very interesting. <laughs> Even if it's end the turn, oh man, J5. <laughs> it's going to be hard to win, though, if you, if, if you take the advice from the chat. That's the problem, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, I mean, like, chaos, like a beast man is, is almost the same, right? Um, a beast man killer would be almost the same. The beast man killer would be like minus one movement compared to this guy. But it's pretty great. It's a pretty great uh, play to have. Just all normals. Like you don't need to double, do you? Uh, well, I mean, you don't need double. Double could have been a, a jump up instead of the juggernaut, yeah, which is fair enough. Um, which would be better, I think. And then, of course, plus strength would be the main way to get them better. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough, J5. Fair enough. It is. It, I mean, it, everyone knows it's stupid. Like, it was such a weird... I really don't know why that happened. That's so weird that that was a thing on on the Discord. Like, It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy that they cared about the listening to chat thing. When you can fully just cheat. You can fully just, you know, have KFOG and PC in a Discord call with you and have them to tell tell you what to do. Yes, yeah, of course, if you get strength, you get horns. Horns, like, strength is just superior to horns. Strictly, it's almost strictly better. It's not because it's, it's more expensive, but I mean, it is strictly better. <laughs> Stop. I mean, Puggy is OP. Is he blitzing the uh, troll? Maybe. Amazons are a team of puggies, aren't they? <laughs> well, I thought he was going to blitz with a pommer, right? Because he could have he could have put in the two assists. When he put him in there, I figured he was going to put in two here and then blitz him with pommer. He's just going to blitz him with the uh, mummy. Oof. Yeah, got to reroll that. Only gets the push. A whole man. Whole man. This is uh, looking like it could be very bad. Getting the. Uh Claw mighty hit on a mummy is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, the troll is pretty scary, yeah, if you, if you can remember. Like, you know, if Mummy goes down, then uh, Undead are pretty rubbish. Well, Kinroth, that seems a very... a very unexciting dream. 
<laughs> I think Griffin aways are just not as good as good teams. You know, elves elf you, rats rat you, and kill teams kill you. So I really don't think that is a a dream worth having, to be honest. The every game might just be one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh yeah. Yeah. Kinrod dreams of being Sergal but without anal beads. <laughs> oh, he didn't put guard in there. Well, now I'm confused. Oh, is the, the troll's got a guard. Wow, instant reroll. Yeah, the troll's got a guard. So he stands him up in the punches. I mean, the only good human team is choosing a different race. <laughs> Which is much better. Like, for example, Dark Elves or High Elves or Wood Elves or even Pro Elves. Or Chaos, or Nurgle, or Chorfs. You know, they're, they are the best human teams. Wow, he's not even hitting the mummy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. That could have been a KO'd mummy. That is shocking. <laughs> yes, I'm cocky. Uh... Griff. Yes, I mean, humans, I mean, Griff 180k rostered is complete insanity. No, no, store because you, you punch you punch this guy first, like you literally, I don't know, no, this doesn't do anything. But you, you stand him up, and then you've got guard, and you're two demon, if you power him, you follow, and you hit the mummy, right? And if you, if you, if you just push him, then you hit him with a then you hit him with a troll, but like, I don't understand how you don't just hit him with a, with two assists, and, and then, and then you hit the mummy, like, don't you want to hit the mummy with block claw, mighty? I want to hit the mummy with block claw, mighty. <laughs> And uh, yes, Pedro. Yeah, it's it, it's been the the they delayed, then they cancelled, and then they got back on again. So this for, for the YouTubers watching this, yeah, that was it was quite a ball ache this match, but it's finally happened. The watch firm. I mean, a good three skills, but yes, it's a good combination. And even with the and now, and now his troll gets hit again, like. And Kazd, I mean, absolute justice. Absolute justice for, for playing like he played. Honestly. Honestly, this is... I've never seen a more deserved Kaz in the past five minutes. <laughs> he apples it. Wow, doesn't... doesn't Fails the apple. <laughs> doesn't rely on regen. Fails the apple. And makes the regen. That was... A really bad apple, wasn't it? Because it was just a miss next. And he's got regen. Like if it was the if it was a death straight away, or was it a, no, because the casualty was a four and the apple was a six. So if it was a death straight away, fair enough, but wasn't that a bad apple? I think that was a bad apple. Either you apple or badly hurt to make sure he's he's in hundred percent, but you're already you're already fifty percent of getting back. You're just making a 50% to 75%. That seems a pretty bad use of an apple when you could make somebody go from 0% to 100% to get back. Like, I know he's a good player, but you've already refused to hit a mummy with him. Yep, I think that was a bad apple. Well, okay, maybe I don't think it was a bad apple. Maybe I know it was a bad apple. <laughs> yes, exactly, J5, yeah. <laughs> Yep. <laughs>
No, we're more about midday now. This isn't so bad. <laughs> This, this 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 one is fine. This is a quite reasonable timed match. I mean, yeah, but it isn't though. J five is it? <laughs> it isn't the dare. So it's slightly. You know, if it was a badly hurt, then then it'd be different because. You'd be changing a 50% to 100%. But even if it was a death, like, you know, he might think he's going to win this in the next one. I mean, I don't, but he might. <laughs> he might, Jeff. <laughs> he might. <laughs> like, it's, it's different in that you do want to stop it, right? Like, that's the thing. Here we go. Gets Le Pau. Oh, you could have used the Juggernaut to get a big gangfowl on him as well. Kills him. No region. Wow. Look what happens when you hit the mummies with Claw Might here. Let that be a lesson to you, Gesna. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. See, it's over. Well, he's gonna get to uh, he's gonna get a tackle pom the claw pom. So that's exciting, isn't it? Hello, Moridam. Did you see the uh, Did you see the Goblin Town Discord today? It was so weird. The uh, The bombardier with that mask. I never realized. Like I knew that it looked like. I knew the Moridam mask looked like a mask, but I, I didn't realize that it was the actual bombardier mask. That was pretty good, wasn't it? How good was that? I, I like that was just not by, totally by accident. Oh wow, he double. He, no, he, he double wand it because he failed the pro. But I mean, come on, man. You've got to, you've got to push to. Oh, did he put this guy in? Oh, okay. I was gonna say you've got to, uh, you've got to blitz this guy. But if you move this guy, then you can't. Yeah. yeah. Hall Scurum. Yeah, foul appearance got him. So yeah, he must have, he must have moved this guy in to protect, which is a good, good shout because you obviously you really don't want this guy getting, uh, getting tackle pond. Roman Morida. Finally playing their SFL match. People said it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> um, incorrect, Skuro. Incorrect. Incorrect. I don't know who you've got after Moradan, but it's not me. Yeah, yeah, you've, you're on eight. You're on eight, and I'm on ten. How embarrassing. Hello, Fimea. Oh, glorious. Glorious for me. Yeah, I don't know who you've got, Skuro, but, but I know you're on eight, and I'm on ten. So. I know it's not me. 
It can't be me unless uh, unless something's gone wrong. Somewhere. Hello. Hello, Fimir. How are you? Uh, good, good. Everything done for the day and probably for the week, so happy days. Glorious. So this is the absolutely monstrous underworld team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they uh, they got their troll uh, misnexted and then uh, used the apple, which failed, but then regen worked, and then they killed the 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 block mummy, block guard stand firm mummy, who failed his regen. So it's. As a standard for this team. Yeah, they've both, they've both made a massive removal, but his regen worked and his didn't. There you go. And already the undead were the behind on the team quality. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think the you undead know, much, much better with the call upon. Play your flipping games. Faulty, that's a good match for me, having Faulty first. He might, he might hurt something with his, uh, with his rather unique style. <laughs> he got the tackle pom on the claw pom. No, it wasn't. The claw pom was just, was just piled on. He's got it. He's got a foul. He's got the DP there. He's got the DP there. The problem is like there's so many, uh, un there's so many underworlds around. They might get a hit on the ball. But I guess you've got to just give him the hit on the ball. Hit this, hit this go ball. Yep, gets the pow. You can have a one assist dirty player foul. Or do you just go in a zero assist? It's dirty sneaky git as well, you could go zero assist foul. Yes, it's a sneaky git, so whatever happens, you know, uh, happy days. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be silly, squirrel. <laughs> Do some sort of damage. Oh my god, he is he is assisting the ball carrier. That is all all eggs in the same basket. Yeah. Do or die. That is a choice because he's got he's got horns, but he gets him off, and it was because of the ball carrier assist that he broke AV. Oh baby, unbelievable! So a great decision to assist with the ball carrier there, as it turns out. And actually, it makes him pretty safe, apart from getting, <laughs> apart from, you know, opening himself up to just getting instantly blitzed by the most lethal player on the opposing team. Apart from that, <laughs> like that was the entire game on a 6+, plus, yes. which is I mean, he pretty could have risky. Con concocted, uh, you know, uh, blitz mm, with the two heads, uh, no. I don't know. I mean, it's great when it works, but if it doesn't work, he just get in, he just gets nailed by him. Yeah, 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 yeah. no, I'm thinking about the thrower that also has, you know, two heads, extra arm, big hand. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he went for it with a wrestle as well. Wrestle tackle, yes, huh? Yeah, tackle, yeah. One day, yeah, he went for it, but uh, no dice. That Kiwi MCU guy. <laughs> Jesus. J5. <laughs> I didn't know that, but that's pretty cool. Apart from why remake it, I guess because it sold the first time, so it might sell again. But... Oh, pro face. Oof. Yes, yeah, that's the one screw was. Got it. Yep. So yeah, now it's well. He hasn't killed as many as he did with the uh, against the lizard men, but it's certainly looking pretty good for him. He likes to use the you know the ball carrier as an assist for the fouls. I don't know. Okay, work again and uh, <laughs> stupid go over the. At least, at least this time the dude was strength three and he's got a guard on him. The the, the last one was just 
was just bonkers. That was an absolute, absolute mad lad strategy last turn. Flash Gordon is the best movie ever made. That is a bold claim, J5. But it was it was fun, yeah. It was it was not that good, but it was, it was entertaining. It was absolutely crap, but people are uh, reminding, uh, remembering them as, as some kind of ironic movie or something like that. Yeah. You know, like it was a, a comedy. Yeah, it was like and so bad it was good, comedy parts, it? but yeah. they weren't expecting, you know, the... But it just seems like a weird thing to remake because it is what it is, isn't it? It's like a cult classic no, kind of thing, so it seems a really nostalgia, weird thing. Yeah, nostalgia. Seems... It's pure, pure uh, nostalgia for the 80s and that magic time that uh, doesn't look like the 80s I live, you know, but the people seem to have a very high opinion of the 80s nowadays. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess it's just in purely money, isn't it, they think? They think some people will buy it, so they'll sell it. But it seems like I mean, thing to end do. of the day, movies. You know, I mean, Hollywood has been full of remakes and new versions since Hollywood started, anyway. So yeah. you know, you know, like oh yeah. Yeah, it just seems a weird one to me. Like you know, like like most of the ones that they remake, you like. Do you know what I mean? Like you could you could redo them better and stuff, and like obviously you could redo Flash Gordon better because it's shit, but it wouldn't be the same. So you couldn't recreate it, could you? Like what made it entertaining, basically. There you go. There's a big there's a big removal. Yeah, that's a good one. Seems the the undead which deleted the lizard team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I am correct. Yeah, they did, and now they're starting to roll now. Hello, Chigan. Yep, the rescheduling of the cancellation of the rescheduling. Mmm. <laughs> yes, an apple here, hundred percent turning a turning a zero percent return into a hundred percent return might have been a better idea than turning a fifty percent return into a seventy-five percent return. But who can say if that's right or wrong? <laughs> Yeah, that that was it. That was a shocking apple. Maybe it was panic because you know he he could have he could have hit the money the last turn and then maybe it was like a bit of a tilt apple. Chalice nerves, maybe. Who knows? Mm. Maybe just a misclick like I did today when I could have <laughs> I could have tripled it. I could have tripled a polywoggle and instead just rolled because I just fully, fully misclicked. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the storybook brawler stuff. Yep. Correct. <laughs> it's another one with a huge card. Yeah. All right, well, everybody. I mean, sometimes people forget to use pylon every time, you know? So. Exactly, yeah. Well, this should be an easy stall now, shouldn't it? I don't see anything bad happening yet. I guess he could have quadded. Quad school, so he should have moved the ball carrier first, right? I think he, uh, he could also have done that, you know, uh, three dice, very easy. Yep, yep. He definitely could have three dice, but oh, he should have definitely moved the mummy first and the ball first, right? Like, he 100% does those first. Like, that's just guaranteed. If if you're watching at home, like you know, not really criticizing him because he's only wrong one in twelve thousand nine hundred and six. What one thousand two hundred ninety six times is he wrong? But you know, you're gonna you want to be in range, right? So you just move these two first because they, they have to be there, and then you then you do your blitz, and uh, you know it's still it's still shit one in twelve nine six times, but at least at least you can still score maybe. Probably even in fact, he, he could be able to hit you, but oh, he could hit you with tackle. Mm. So maybe he should have gone the sideline, right? Maybe this guy should have gone the sideline here first, 
and then even if you're on in 12.96 you still uh, end up scoring Well, it's not a glaring error, is it? But it's just one of those if, uh, we'll things. Will never, will never make that kind of error. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you talking about? What are you doing? <laughs> An extra point one percent. I don't think you would have ever rappled that, uh, that troll. Oh, wow. Extra cars. I'm guessing he's saving the reward for the one turner. Yeah. So there's a chance, isn't there, with the, uh, the toss? Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe he wanted to apple the troll so he'd definitely be able to toss the goblin, but I mean, that's so low odds anyway. That seems... I mean, it's a troll with block, claw, and guard, so it's a nice piece. It is, it is, it is a very good, a very good player, but still. And this, I like this, you know, going for the. Yeah, gotta go for that. You can't live in fear of the one in twelve nine six. On there, I don't think. After after just saying, you know, on the previous turn, he should have done that in case he won in twelve nine six. <laughs> I'd have still made this hit here, but you know, just because. Because he's turn eight. Yeah. And the other one was turn seven. You know. The... Yeah. yeah. You do the mistake. You are giving uh, many chances to the opponent. Yeah. To recover the ball and then uh, do some uh, bullshit. Uh, because it's the old rules, it's Enzi. Um, so this is not like a Blood Bowl uh, 2020. If that's if you're a table topper. Yes. It's... If a pro works here, you roll both dice. Yeah. So yeah, that is that is a, an example of where the new pro would be way better. Yeah, yeah, the new pro, the, the new pro would be really good there, wouldn't it? Like you can, you can re-roll a dice nearly every, nearly every hit. You'd be rolling a dice, wouldn't you? In, in, in with the new pro, so it's probably, it's probably way better overall. It, it might even be worth. Well, if killers were any good, but obviously without, without piling on with claw being nerfed, um, I guess more people would be taking. Well, nice, no, probably not even worth building the killer outside of mighty blow tackle, guard. So if you get another skill, but then you've got stand firm and juggernaut, yeah, out. so it's really hard to get pro. But like you would be able to get a lot of use out of it. Yeah, though. It, oh god, I just realised there's no Fimir on the picture. Um, the thing about the yeah, I wasn't going to say anything. I was going to, I was going to wait until. Uh... Half time, you know, to make a comment that why I'm not in the booth. You know? <laughs> there we go. Glorious. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, it takes a lot of skills to get there, doesn't it? So yeah, most people aren't gonna aren't gonna get to pro, even if they want to take it. Like, getting to like this guy would be mighty blow tackle guard, wouldn't he? And he, he wouldn't probably wouldn't have ever got to the fourth skill. Vampires are the ones that are going to benefit the most from a... Pro. Yeah, yeah. But then vampires, the, again, the problem is the redrafts and stuff, and, you know, like, it, it's gonna, it'll take them a while to get block and dodge, and then I guess you could go pro before sidestep. So yeah, I guess they get it in skill three, and then, and but you know the redrafted screws like vampires and stuff. It's a funny old game. Right. Is, is he in range? Oh. Must be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. And you can even throw one of these ones, can't you? 
Maybe not. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe if he, uh, he can, if he gets the, no, yeah, if he gets the power on that hit. No, he doesn't want to make it. Okay, he gets the hand off. Okay, here we go. The magic play everybody loves to see. Yeah, B bad setup though, right? This is a bad, bad setup against the long term. Oh, and he really stupids and fails the loner. <laughs> Tragedy. Well, that better than eating a gobo. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Meanwhile, Johnny Five keep us updated on the career or uh, Brian Blessed. <laughs> yeah. Which I have no idea who he is. You don't know Brian Blessed? Well, maybe by name, no, but probably if I, I'm going to. Let me go Google him. Yeah, he's a legend. Yeah, yeah, you'll know him when you see him. Having. All oh, right, yes. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. The Hawkman, yeah. Yeah. Gordon's alive! <laughs> Those absolutely not homoerotic uh, flying men from Flash Gordon. Nothing at all. <laughs> oh man, that was so good. One of the things I remember from the movie is that uh, his daughter has the uh, pink wings, you know? <laughs> God, you're making me want to watch Flash Gordon again, honestly, JF. <laughs> Fun fact, there is a pub here in Edinburgh that have a signature photo of Brian Blessed. Oh, wow. Pretty cool. I should watch that movie at least once. Yeah, I might be. I might be able to be talked into a Flash Gordon movie now. What's the movie of uh, the guy uh, Ted, the one that with the talking uh, teddy bear? Ted. That they are they are obsessed uh, with uh, Flash Gordon. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in it, isn't he? He's in the movie as well. The actor who plays Flash Gordon. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I enjoyed Ted. Loads of people seem to shit on it, but I... Uh, <laughs> I, I loved it, uh, watching it. I think it was funny. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I mean, not to watch every game, but you know, for uh, one hour and a half or something like that. Entertaining. Yeah. A classic Boston movie. There is a Tom Brady. Yeah, in, that's in Ted 2, I think. I think that's Ted 2, the one with the Tom Brady. I don't even know if he's in it. I don't even... Is he even in it? I, I don't know if there's a cameo. Oh, Skuro, Tom Brady as Flash Gordon. <laughs> oh, baby. He definitely, like, breaks into his house, doesn't he? And steals his jizz. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's because they're, they're looking... What is, there's a, a lot of talk about his, uh, his sperm or something like that. Ooh. Oh, yeah, he does. He throws a ball at him, doesn't he? He's like, oh, wow, a perfect spiral. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he doesn't throw a football at him. Maybe he like throws a shoe at him or something. Yeah. Oh, school. Mm. That's an idea, Doug the Manitou. Yes, yeah, a movie club where I could watch movies in Discord. Artemis does that, but uh, I would never pirate anything, so I'm not going to do anything. This is, like a, that. this is a clean and honest stream. Yes, I would never do anything like that. It would actually be great, yeah, Tom Brady is Flash Gordon. That's actually a pretty great idea, isn't it? <laughs> and probably they'll they try to get Henry Cavill because he's the name to go nowadays oh. for everything, you know? Oh, yes. Yes, P fucking please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I got accused of being called gay for Henry Cavill by uh, by my friends the other day. I was I was shocked. <laughs> you can be gay about Henry Cavill. It's just a force of nature. You know? 
<laughs> I'm like, I'm just human. <laughs> This was a very low key turn, wasn't it? Nothing uh, really exciting happening, thanks to the uh, thanks to the claw pommer not being in action. It is uh, looking really bad for the underworld. Well, it's weird, isn't it? I mean. The Undead are 1-0 up, but they're a mummy down, but then the the Underworld are, are the strength 4 down, but have a claw pommer, so like, I think it's still pretty much in the balance. I don't know which team I'd rather be at this point. Oh, here comes the club bomber, the lizard killer. Pylon. Doesn't There's forget to use pylon. Yep. <laughs> Nothing wrong with his mouse, he manages to get the pylon. <laughs> I wonder if you blitz the uh, dirty player here as the, uh, you know, as the underworld, just so that he can't, he can't foul you and, because if he blitzes somebody else and then gets fouled, he's just done, isn't he? He gets fouled out by somebody else. At least there's no ball pressure. Looks like it's going to be a blitz on the dirty player. Hmm. Now the question is, uh, the, the bombers of each team must be on the floor every single turn, because if not, they become the target of the other team uh, bomber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But he can't, he can't follow, he's, he's just got a st screen on here. Yep, gets the removal, so now he's free to pile on in future. <laughs> A game of cat and mouse. Or pile and pile. Yeah, he's, he's got to cage he's got to cage the bomber. <laughs> the ball, the bomber. <laughs> more, more, more worried about the claw pond than the ball. Glorious. <laughs> I quite like putting him around on, on this guy, then you could dodge him off and then uh, 2D this maybe. But yeah, I guess just dodge away is fine. Do you know what? I really hate that, that they show the animation of the guy who doesn't have tackle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's it. it always bothers me too, yes. Like every time. Literally every time. Oh, Ducky! Yeah, absolutely. The ball. It, it's definitely he's good, definitely going to expose the ball before he exposes the claw pommer. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, there's a kill. Oh. 
it's getting uh, and uh, and they don't get an extra player because it's a gobo. Yeah. And Stantis don't make zombies. Yeah. Yep. And he has to pile on because if not, the scaven will hit him. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's so dumb. <laughs> They'll fix that in Blood Bowl 3, J5 with the jokes. The only will do have to think about scoring eventually. But maybe not yet. Ce joueur aurait bien besoin d'une transplantation de cerveau. He could just run away from the uh, tackle pommer this turn, eh? Yes. I think going to the right side. Yeah. You know, he can uh, blitz the block uh, zombie. Yeah. And that seems to be the play. Yeah, he could, bl he could blitz the defenseless one to, like, you know, more chance of a knockdown and then block this guy. He's panning on the ghoul, you reckon? So I'll have to punch him to open the path. Oh, that's a bit... I'm not sure I like that. Well, I'm sure I don't like that. Well... He's 3D'ing this guy. Ah, uh, uh, there you go. Still doesn't get him. Rerolls it. Come on, man. It's a block zombie. It's a flipping block zombie. Are you really? Yes. I did not like that reroll. <laughs> Especially when Kukula uh, choose a block and have another block with a goblin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And like, you've only got, like, okay, you had four, but the only way you can win this is by going to overtime. Isn't it, for the uh, for the underworld? It's literally, they're not winning it in overtime. They can't win in overtime. They can only win in overtime, so I would have definitely not re rolled that. That's true, Ducky. Yeah, okay, fair. Good point. Good point by Ducky. That's how he... Oh my god, full appearance works! Way For the second time uh, in the match? Second time? <laughs> Jesus. Best choice, the best skill choice ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is a good point by Ducky. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's how this... <laughs> that's how this guy has got 209 SPP now. In 39 games, well, 38 and a half. <laughs> That's an average of a uh, 5.5 SPP per game. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely uh, crazy. It really is, yeah. The, 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 the de level, level of development on this Underworld team is like, it's wild. There's so many SPPs, like, all across the board, you know, like... Except in the Goblins, probably. Yeah. And he has 13 of them, so probably he's been firing constantly every single Goblin that uh, leveled up. It's, it's wild. So many SPPs. <laughs> Johnny <Five. laughs> Very good. And then and then this guy who got cast, he, he's on he's like it's crazy on so much SPPs, I don't even understand how. Yes, his goblins have been dying and not getting any kind of uh, SPP of any kind. Yeah. Well, here and now, now he might pawn this ghoul, eh? Yeah. We checked his uh, team beforehand and I think the only goblin with SPP was one with three SPP. Yeah. yeah. I 
I guess he could blitz the, the white to get tackle off the dodger, but no. Doesn't follow. Come on, man. Now you decide not to pile on. Well, one of the best uh, players the other team has. Mm. Shocking. That's the ball carrier and guard. <laughs> Misclick, I bet. <laughs> Broken mouse. Yep, screen. Make sure to screen the claw pommer as well as the ball. <laughs> Nine aside is. Wow. Yeah, mouse hacks wouldn't be surprised. Well, at least I have to say they are playing fast. Yeah. Oh, huge removal. Yes, and that's why I don't, don't understand why the other blitzer it was just behind the troll, because you are now stuck to a zombie, and you didn't uh, did anything being next to that zombie. He could, he could have been you know, in another square. Mm -hmm. Just one to the right, for example. I mean, the thing is that the Skaven can still get this done, can't they, on this drive and then get to overtime? The Skaven, the underworld. So it's not over. Don't say it's over. They're still. But yeah, they've mostly got goblins. And when I said Skaven, they're mostly goblins. <laughs> yes, I mean, there is still a few uh, progress Skaven there. It's block. That, mean, that means he's going to blitz him. Yeah, that was, I think this was a mistake. I think what he had to do this turn was blitz him and get people down here. Right, He's only got three more turns after this, so I think he should have probably tried to start getting down the sideline. The dead mummy was the one with block... Guard and uh, stand firm. Mm -hmm. That was the dead mummy. Yeah, that was the one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the skills you want in our mummy. Yeah, incredible. Incredible mummy. Does the 3D again? Instant reroll or not this time? Yep, instant reroll. Oh my god! Wow. Wow. And you say uh, Juggernaut instead of the push to prove a point. Yeah. What do you think of that J5? Maximizing the use of skills. Yeah. What do you think of that reroll J5? That might be too spicy even for J5 with overtime. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe he's not here. Sad. Who knows? Who knows uh, what the goes in the JFast computer? Meanwhile, uh, <laughs> in the few seconds when he's not writing. <laughs> oh, here he is. Uh, yep, yeah, probably supported. Fair enough. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? I, I wouldn't. I would not dream of. I. I think uh, being a. Oh my God! They came full appearance. Oh wow! And he oh, rolled it. He rolled it. Wow! Frogs and, and he <laughs> fails. Absolutely, this was probably one of the most failed plays. Made by the one single player I've seen in Blue Ball. Yeah. 
Wow. Poor thing, poor thing failed everything. Yeah. And now, he might have a path through after all. After thinking, you know, he had to go last turn because he was running out of time. Now it looks like he might just be able to get through pretty easily. Armor break on the zombie. Yep. He's a we goner. will never know. We will never know who was going to pile on. Probably not because it would be absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's a bit excessive to pile on there. I would have definitely uh, tried to blitz the mummy, to be honest, but never mind. I mean, the mummy with the goblin there is going to be busy, it's not going to do much. I mean, you know, like some random zombie was going to do much anyway, but... I thought he would have gone, you know, through the middle. Yeah, yeah, I would have, I would have, I think I would have gone through the mummy and then, like, caged here, so you just got a bit more space to to go into, like, not rather than, you know, like, not because it's to just get the mummy or whatever. Through the middle, you've got to deal with this tackle bomber somehow, like, if you go further over, but I, I really like going through. Oh, I would have gone with a foul with a goblin on the bomber. That might, that might have worked, yeah. It's a little bit tricky for space, that, that that's the problem in it, you know, like even if you felt, like, you know, if you put the ball above him, then the well, cage I'll... is based. If you put the ball aside him, the cage is based on there, so like, well, you know, you could have, th I mean, you could do tags and stuff, but like, it was pretty, it would have been pretty tricky to fit the ball in here. Because you want to get forward okay. because it's turn 14, isn't it? That's a very good square for the Goblin to be. He's just, he's just run away from them. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Like, they can't, they can't get in, can it? Because they stand firm. Interesting. Super interesting. He blitzes the uh, gobble. It's a bit rubbish, I mean, isn't it? The, the reroll on the fall appearance is clearly a rich reroll. Yeah. Is, uh, you are going towards overtime with a one reroll advantage, you know, so it's like things are looking good for you right now. Yeah, that seems okay, doesn't it? And then you can you can jam in with the others and hope it's enough. But it's a bit unexciting. Maybe he should think ah uh, now he gets up the bomber. Yeah. Oh, wow. Don't like that, it was already two dice, so he's going to dodge off. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah, this is pretty decent. This is pretty decent, isn't he? He's got the, he's got the Rackler there and he's got these two here, so he should have something that, like, he, he can't potato or now. No, and uh, two turns left for the Underworld, so now they are paying the price of not advancing when they had the chance. Yep. Yep, they needed, they needed more penetration. And they have uh, they cage themselves just in the side for. I don't know, it was a choice. It was the right one, but I always prefer to have a space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, and and now this mummy's hard to deal with, right? If he if he blitz that mummy, then not only would the cage have been further out and given them a bit more breathing room, um, there would be not a strength five to deal with. Evaluate in a space. One of the most important skills of a football coach. The space that looks good this time could be very bad the next one. Yeah. Um, I believe so, Randall Carrison. He had 180, so... Um, you know, he's probably... He'll, he'll almost certainly have enough for anyone. If he wins... 
Or if even if he doesn't win, if he can have a new mummy in uh, the Open. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no one cares about the mummy if he doesn't win. <laughs> um, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? Yeah, I think he has to, uh, I think he has to dodge a, dodge a ghoul. Don't see any, any way around. Dodge it. Oh, no, I guess this guy's got two heads, so he could dodge him for the assist. And then he's got the reroll for Azni, and then he can blitz and then bears down and yeah. And he rolls a one! Oh -ho. And now you have to reroll this and you're one with one reroll left. Yeah. I wonder if you're regretting his his crazy rerolls now. And now if this is a one in nine, it's a disaster. And it is! Oh. It is, it is absolutely disaster. This could be game. Well done, Jim. Call that out perfectly. Born in the crowd. And he catches it with the extra arms. <laughs> Incredible. That's crazy, isn't it? I mean, he's going to get destroyed this, uh, this turn, but... Yes, yeah, I imagine he's not going to hang on to it, but it was funny that he caught it with the extra arms. Yes. <laughs> Will he be able to resist hitting with a tackle pommer? Pro yes, he is. He goes for the correct move of Rackle. Correct. Doesn't get him yet. Gets him. <laughs> nearly. <laughs> nearly. Not follow. Also, the good choice because you don't want to pick up the scatter. And that's a great square for him to be because he's he has the It looks like the undead have done it, doesn't it? Seems seems like it. He just needs to make a little screen. Try to Yeah, he follows to try that and protect. That follow, that follow with the mummy and that uh, block add to that piece. I don't like it. Yeah, but he's just, he's just trying to protect the ghoul, isn't he? Because if he doesn't follow, he'll just stand up and punch the palm the ghoul. And he, like, okay, this like he can technically score the underworld, but it's so hard for him to do it that he's basically guaranteed to win at this point. The undead, so he just he just falls to try and protect the. Uh, the ghoul from death. I mean, of course, he could give up on the game, to be fair, and then just blitz, <laughs> blitz the, the game, mummy. Yeah. Out of a spite. Yeah, he could have done that, but I guess you've just got to trust that he won't. <laughs> I think you go for the 1D with the... No, no, he can get to D with the dodge, stand firm, uh, guard. And even if he'd got it, he just sidesteps to like here, doesn't he? And then you've got to go yeah. all that way with a goblin and then long bomb it to the end zone. <laughs> it was like, it was so hard. And now here comes the victory lap for the undead. Yeah, he can surf. He can surf this... Uh, Blitzer. I mean, I wouldn't surf. No, no, surfing's yeah, bad. Surfing's bad, but he should do it just, you know, because it's funny. Oh, yes, for content, for quality yeah. content, yes. Yeah. Absolute content. Uh, so. Do SPP for, for a level for the... Why will he get the SPP? He yes, he gets it. Oh. Master, master play. <laughs> Wow. Unbelievable. And then he dubs gold! <laughs> Doesn't die. Alright. 
So the Mega Killer Underworld uh, team was destroyed by the Mega Killer and the team. <laughs> yeah, the undead. The undead are carrying on their steamrolling ways, aren't they? Um, inflicted four kills and five cards from 40 blocks. 18 AV breaks. Absolutely made mincemeat of the underworld. So there you go. Congratulations, Vade. Commiserations, Gesner. And uh, thank you very much, Fimea. Absolutely glorious to have you in the country. Always a pleasure to be here. Oh, baby. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.